looking to find out the difference between the Mary Fisher 895 and the 1095, two of the deluxe cruising boats from the Mary Fisher range. We're going to take a comparison. They're both here side by side at the Sanctuary Cove International Boat Show. Welcome back to the rudder. My name's Damien. We're here at the Sanctuary Cove International Boat Show looking at the Genoa Mary Fisher 895 Offshore Edition and the Mary Fisher 1095, the sedan version, not the flybridge. We're going to jump on board both of these vessels, check them out. They are side by side, which is super awesome to see. You don't usually get that. And just show you the differences between them. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with uh, a boat that I'm very familiar with, the 895. This is an 8.9 metre boat, a 9 metre vessel, 3 metres beam. This is not a trailable vessel. You're going to have to store this in the water or on uh, dry shelves or whatever you do. This is the offshore version with the two twin two Yamaha 200s. And we'll show you what happens when you get up to the 1095. As we see this boat today, it's just a touch under $400,000. Okay, we're going to jump on board and have a look. Oh, lovely. A little bit of teak there to start off with. The cockpits, the outside area, they're pretty much the same between both vessels. One, two foot, two meters, two stepping foot. You've got the drop, oh, don't drop the perrier again, the drop down day bed. So the size you've got on both the cockpits is pretty identical. The changes come when you step inside. Very familiar for me, obviously with the 895 few differences on this one we've got the white trim but you've got a full galley you know lots of storage a fridge as with the whole Mary Fisher range you've got a drop down day bed here and the swinging co-captain seat and we can see that on the 1095 as well but as we look side by side this is where the difference comes. There's more space on the 1095. We'll get there in a second. Helm positions are very similar. In fact, I'm a little bit jealous. This one has the upgraded 1095 seat, which um, I would like to try and work out how to get onto our vessel. Helm position is very similar to on both vessels and uh, really a pleasure to, to work with. Stepping downstairs, we will also see a few differences and the number one being on this side this is the mid midship cabin so you've got space down there a double bed plenty of room and on this side you've got the head with a shower toilet and everything you need we'll check out the differences when we go next door in a second but you can easily sleep four people on this and moving up to the master cab this is put in its shorter position but this comes out this is actually is a full queen size bed very spacious I'm six foot two I can sleep here very easily with Brooke and lots of room the Genoa signature air everywhere is on both vessels so as we move back out we'll jump back across and have a look at the 1095 stepping across to the Currently the largest boat in the Mary Fisher range, about to change very soon with the introduction of the 1295, but over to the 1095, and this is a basically 11 metre boat, but you do get a bigger beam. You've added another 40 centimetres of beam, so a 3.4 metre beam. Upgrade to the engines. As we see the boat here today, $580,000. Let's jump on board and have a look at the cockpit. Stepping onto the cockpit of the 1095, you've got that extra width on the beam, which does give you a bit more space, but the length, one, two, is exactly the same. So you've got extra beam, same depth, and you do have all the trimmings of the Mary Fisher that you can move the bench forward, drop this down, make it into a day bed. The changes come when you step inside. Stepping inside the 1095, you do really feel a bit more volume. First off, you've got some overhead cabinetry on both sides. There's no way, I can, can't even reach the, I can just reach the cabinetry. There's no way I can reach the windows. You've got a sink 
and your cooker here. Notice you don't have the lift up, so you've got some preparation space, you've got your cooker and your sink all ready to go in one, and that comes with that extra length that you're getting inside here. Your battery compartment has just moved from the side, and the doors are a little bit different as well. It's not quite to the edge, you've got a bit more space. Storage, 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 the drop down, some more storage under here, and the fridge ooh, has disappeared. The fridge is in under here, but you can get this option with a second fridge. So I guess this vessel can really go away for quite a few nights. Helm position, relatively similar, looking side by side. As I mentioned, this is the 1095 seat, very nice. Bow thruster on both boats, touchscreen Garmin, throttle control, all your rocker switches. Yeah. And once again, the flick over co-captain seat. Here is where the difference happens. The co-captain seat is pretty much in line with the drive position, but now we notice you've got this large expanse here and that's to accommodate some extra cabins. Let's step downstairs. As we step down, we've got a lot of headroom here. We've got a mid cab, same as the 895, but instead of going that way under the boat, it actually goes that way because you've got the extra length. A mirror just to make sure that you're looking good before you step out. And here we go, we've got an extra cabin. This mid cab is a double bed. You can fit two people down there very easily. In this cab, we have a full stand up fridge and we have a single bed. You can get this with a mattress or if you want to just make this a full on storage space, you can pull all that out and have it all for storage and you've got your technical cabinetry right at the back there. And kind of the difference between the 895 where you had the head here, ta-da, there's a head over here. With the extra size, you get that little bit more luxury. You've got a full shower cubicle, so it's not the pull-out shower, but you've got a toilet and your head. Move, lastly, moving into the main cab or the bow cab, it's pretty much the same setup. The bed is identical, but you have an extra beam width allowing for more storage in your gunnels. This boat's fitted with air conditioning, but you have plenty of space down here. Lots of light, a beautiful space to be. Let's jump up to the bow and check it all out. Moving up to the bow of the 1095, and you can also see where that extra space has gone. We've got the extra beam width, so you've got three cushions all the way along here, and you do have some extra length on the nose, which, uh, you can use to lie, I mean, you know, I can fully lie out there. I don't think it's a bedroom, I don't think we could say that, but you've got a very big sun pad here. Both vessels have the bow ladder for that easy access, but you can see that difference just between the two vessels. I'm here on the 1095. Another quick difference you can find in the 1095 is you have a couple of extra storage for your fenders. You don't have that on the other vessel. All right, I hope you enjoyed that comparison between the Genoa Mary Fisher 895 offshore and the Mary Fisher 1095. This is the sedan model. There is a flybridge model that unfortunately isn't here today, otherwise that'd be a cool comparison. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you next time on the rudder.